Shootouts, saloons, wagons, dusty trails, eating beans from a can, and robots. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about wild guns. A murderous gang from the Old West has killed the family of Annie. And they also happen to have an army of killer robots. So she calls on the help of bounty hunter Klimt in this SNES arcade classic. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Wild Guns for the SNES. It's like an arcade shooter. Very simple, but very awesome. You'll get the hang of it. We're gonna get right into it. You'll, you'll, you'll catch on pretty fast. Basically, it, it, this group of robots and cowboys have ki has killed everybody in Annie's family, and you gotta be this manly man, Clint, here, to kind of get- Whoa! You can change his color? All these years. Okay, enough of that. All these years, I never knew. But anyway, we're gonna pick Clint because, well, we're also manly men. Let's see. Oh yeah, the first level, Carson City. I'll explain things as we get along, as we go along here. You'll 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 catch on really fast. But first, control roll call. I guess as as where you should usually start, I suppose. I don't know what button this is because I'm using an N64 controller, not an S, not an S a Super Nintendo controller. But okay, well I did like a million things I should have explained there. But B on the N64 controller anyway is shoot. Um, you can jump, you can double jump, which is very helpful. And if you press X, you can do like this TNT dynamite thing, uh, which blows up everything on the screen and gets you out of hairy situations. Got robots and robots and cowboys, robots and cowboys, outlaws and cowboys and robots. Um, oh yeah, and if you get shot once, you you're dead. Like that's it. You only get one bullet. You get two or three lives. I'm not sure if they count zero as a life. I can see the number two down there in the bottom left. But if you get shot once, you're dead. So that's why it's kind of intense when there's a lot of crap flying on the screen because there's no buffer for you. So, uh, and they also, I want somebody to shoot at me real quick. Shoot at me, shoot at, well, you probably have seen it already, but they show you the targets, kind of where the bullet, yeah, see the, see the blue thing there? The, the flashing blue red thing is where the bullet's gonna go. So you don't have to kind of try to use your own fake depth perception on the, with the two-dimensional graphics to try to see where the bullet is. So they, they, they do that for you, which is kind of nice. And they're pretty much the format is you go to a level, there's two shooting levels with a mini boss at the end of each one, and then there's a big boss level at the end. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so much happening. So I got that G gun power up, which is the grenade gun, which is kind of slow, but man is it strong. And we should probably take out this skinny little robot pretty fast with it. Uh, this guy, oh, I forgot about that. If you rapidly tap the shoot, shoot button, he throws that little rope. And if you, gra if you hit somebody with it, they're, they're stunned. It actually works on bosses, but good luck trying to hit, good, whoa, whoa. Don't want to get shot in the feet there. Good luck getting hit, trying to hit them with the rope. But anyway, so we're gonna hit this guy with our grenade gun. Jump, double jump over that nonsense. Double jump over that nonsense, because one hit will kill us, one hit will kill us. Come on, Clint, jump, Clint, Clint, do, do your awesome crap, shoot. Oh, we only had one hit left. I probably should've been trying to shoot him a little more. And that's it for Carson City, baby. We just killed a bunch of people in Carson City. That's how Clint rolls. Oh, awesome bar scene. How classic is this? All right, shoot the tables. Shoot the guys with the guns. Shoot the welcome sign. Shoot, can I shoot, wait, whoa, can I shoot this plant? Oh, I can shoot the plant! Uh, shoot, the, shoot the rest of the table, shoot the jukebox! Hit everything with your grenades! Light the place up, Clint! Crap, jump, jump, don't get hit, don't get hit. Grab a rock. Man, there's so many bartenders with sticks of dynamite. It's- Whoa, whoa, I'm- Oh god, okay, these robots are- they're, Actually, I always use TNT here. That's that TNT thing I was talking about before. Because, just because the robots are so far away, they're hard to both shoot and take care of without getting hit, really. Oh, they give me my bomb back? Nice. How- how considerate. Alright, shoot, 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 use my shot- oh, wait, I, did I even explain this? Oh, I got- I must have got the shotgun power up, the S-gun. I guess it's shotgun. It's just- it's not my favorite. It just takes up the, a wide shot range of damage, so you can- you can shoot more than one person, I guess, at the same time. And you can also pick up this dynamite. Uh, I don't know why you would ever want to do that. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Oh, yeah, grenade gun. Definitely the best. Oh, we're at the boss already? Ah, oh, it's- it's- it's Lefty Hand Louie! Skinny Lefty Hand Louie! It's- all right, well, this guy is not is not so much of a shot. I don't know, it's hard to say, because one shot will kill you, and when he takes aim, he just fires one quick, see how shot fast that shot went? Just one quick shot like that, that's his only real attack. But if you're not paying attention and he gets that shot off on you, you will not be able to react in time unless you're already jumping. And he stops to fix his hair in the mirror, That's I guess that's your chance. And also, he, can, he can't, like, you can't continuously shoot him you can only shoot him like once at a time because then he starts crawling around on the ground and stuff. So I guess the grenade gun is actually the best thing to have. 
So I get him with that one, yeah, that one blast, and it does all that damage. It's just a grenade gun. So that was actually the best weapon to have there for Louie. Oh, the first boss. And it's a giant robot with shrimp things growing out of its neck. Oh my goodness! It's so ugly. It caught the ugly. Oh, whoa, I hit him with the rope. Oh, that's right. I can use the rope. We'll stun him. Oh, well, that doesn't stop him from shooting missiles out of his shrimp neck things, I guess. I'm onto your sh I'm onto you, shrimp neck. I still have, I said nine shots left with the grenade gun. Nice. Can't waste them. I hate that attack. The one where it goes along the floor. I'm good at dodging it by now because if you're not, you'll never make it through the game. But that attack, oh, what's this? 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 There's white things everywhere. What's this? What's this? There's things in guns and guns and bombs and robots and nothing. No, but what's this? All right, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, jump over that. God, this guy's a lot of health. How many grenade shots can this guy, guy take? I'm making this, well, at least I made this first part seem easy. They keep, they kept giving me the grenade gun, so I mean, I just messed everybody up. Man, Clint just messed everybody up with that grenade launcher of his. And you go down. You've been felled, shrimp neck robot man. Where am I fighting him? A trailer park? Yeah, he raises his fist in glory. Mission complete. Who says that? Not, not Star Fox, but somebody said that in like Capcom vs. SNK2. It was like a 2D fighting game. Everybody ever heard of that? Anyone? Anyone? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! Yeah, that guy's heard of it. Man, you are attractive. And a good dancer, I bet. But anyway, so, after you beat the first level, it takes you to this screen here. And there isn't a certain order for doing the remaining four stages. Well, there's actually... Secret, secret! Spoiler, spoiler! There's actually more than four stages. But you do these next four ne uh, next. Next four next. But there's a certain order you go in. You definitely do the armored train last. That thing is freaking impossible. Uh, you de and you start with the Desolation Canyon. Also, also a hint is that the bonus is the lowest. But anyway, well, in the next episode, I guess we're gonna go to the Desolation Canyon and get revenge on those murderous robot cowboy gang that killed Annie's family. How could they? How could they? Bye, everybody. Bye!